Hello YouTube friends, Alicia here with a video of a junk journal that I have upside down. There we go. Um, this is my first design team project for Tsunami Rose. I have become a part of her design team and I'm very excited about it. So the set we used was the Hummingbird set and this journal was a little bit different for me. I had trouble getting everything to print. My printer was jamming because I was um, printing on dyed paper but I really liked how it turned out and um, really enjoyed working with this kit. So let's get started. It's two signatures. I used an envelope and then I put some satin ribbon on the binding. I um, just painted it with craft paint, blue and green as you can see. It's very much a writing journal, as most of my journals are. I also um, went ahead and printed the ephemera on cardstock. I made some um, embellishments. It's a little envelope, some stamping. Some more telegrams. That's just uh, some vintage ledger paper. These are actually paper clipped on where you see the banners. Opens up. I love interactive journals. I don't heavily embellish my journals, as you know, but I like things to be able to move around. Just an envelope. More of the telegrams. I printed on the back of scrapbooking paper just for some added interest. I like that picture. It's just from a magazine. This has nothing in it, but you can put whatever you want in it. Another paper clip with a telegram. And this is the second signature. So there's tons of pages in here. Um, but like I said, it's not heavily embellished, so it's not super chunky. Another telegram. These are some journaling cards. They're super cute. I made everything miniature. Um, I don't know what it is. That's another thing I really like. I prefer things small over big. So the kit actually comes with large journaling spots. I'm the one that um, downsized them. This is a vintage image that I got at an antique store. Just thought it went well. Another envelope. A little booklet. More telegrams. It flips up and open and Another booklet. Really like this paper. Um, I don't know what it is. I've had it for a while, but 
It went really nice with the journal. Another tag I made. And that is the back. And like I said, I dyed most of the paper and then just um, printed. I really should have ironed it, which is why I was having so much issues, but I like how it looks. Like, I, it's just, I don't know, it's different than coffee dyed. I um, tend to lean towards vintage, and I didn't want that for this. I just wanted it to kind of have, like, a springy nature feel, like you could take it out, um, you know, in the garden and sit and watch the birds and write in it. So that was kind of the feel I was going for. Um, I hope you like it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments.